uh, all of us understand markdown file what is this so it is really uh, this markdown file has really simple syntax and what it does it actually renders uh, when you render it on browser it renders that in a proper html format like uh, highlighted bulleted or uh, in a in, in a different form in a different font size also so this is one example of markdown that i have opened here uh, which kafka learning series going on so all of the project that i do i actually keep this practice to document the things uh, in this way so kafka learning series chapter 1 so if you see day 0 1 2 3 and what topics am i covering so these are there so this is good to uh, get a overview right so but still if file is large you have to go through scroll through it so it it becomes uh, a bit hectic like you have to scroll it just to see that one but in the mind i am uh, looking at this that there is a top label topic then there is a sub topic then is other sub topic there is a, a tree kind of structure is there so to generate it there is simple syntax that i showed you so this is the code part like uh, its syntax is there and if you preview this one it will give you that preview properly so why am i showing this one so this is a really cool way to see the documentation but what if i show you uh more colorful more tree like structure of this one uh which which gives a more clear mind map so when it comes mind map mind map is also a kind of tool when uh, if you have done the uh, class diagram or uml kind of thing mind map is the one thing that you can do so this is also really cool syntax and it gives you the tree like structure of this one so it's it's really easy to follow you can go to the link and see this one so so what this video is all about this video is about combination of mind map and markdown that comes mark map markdown plus mind map which is beautiful useful easy and very interactive it visualizes your markdown with mind maps so how, what is the example that it is giving so tr let's try it out and see the beauty of this one so what is the syntax for this one what is the output that it is giving this this tree like structure of this one the syntax is nothing new to learn it is just a markdown syntax that we have so let me uh, let me take this code here this code that we have so just copy it here then we will be able to relate it properly so just clearing this out and it is giving me a tree like structure like kafka learning series under that i have only one sub topic chapter 1 under chapter 1 there is 20 days of plan of different things like course plan use cases discussion and under introduction to kafka if you see there is further it is divided into what is kafka and features of kafka and further that uh, i can do that what is kafka i can divide it into some bullet points so it gives you a proper road map or or a clear line that what you want to follow so you can see the difference uh, between markdown rendering on this one there is a different purpose actually uh, this one so when you have a lot of paragraphing and a lot of content to do markdown is good to go but if you want to present that uh, topic wise and rest of the things you want to explain it mark map is a really cool tool that you can use so there are different options it's it's very easy to follow along you can go ahead and do that one so you, if you are using visual studio there is a plugin for that one you can follow that uh, so there is no need to open a website for that one i use for java i use intellij but unfortunately uh, i haven't got like mark map for intellij let's see if it is there mark map for intellij intellij mind map uh let's see i think it is uh it is it is not mark map but it is something different yeah it is it is different it is not that one so mark map is not available for intellij as far as i know if you get to know just uh, please help me also use this one but if you are using visual studio you can really use this one what next so this is the one example i said let's let's take more complex example so how to generate the more complex example um this is where chat gpt comes in handy i have done something around this one so what i have asked for this one i have asked for the hypothetical mnc banking company which is spread across world and i want to generate the tree of locations so how how it has generated so markdown file it has generated for me so this is this is the file that ne i needed what i am going to do just see i pasted it and it has given me that map 
it is a bit hard to read from here but it is very easy color coded and in, in syntax it is giving me a more thing you can do you can download it uh, as an interactive html and svg as well so if you download it as an html it is a fixed file that is stored in your and you can go and check it at any point of time you can see the source code uh, by opening the file it is just uh, static contents that are there so it is uh, it is a uh, it is a file which has couple of labels right so let's generate more complex uh, example here so i went ahead and saw ask it to generate more complex example like this one where hyperlink is there bold italic uh, and striped content are also there it it generated this content for me so chat gpt is also cool tool to generate the content so here you see uh, this point i i took this example to show you that why paragraphing is not a good uh, thing to show in the mark map so you see in single line it has given me these things right so but this also you can fix it if it is going too far in a single line you can fix it so wrap long text here you see this click here so you just click on this one max width it has fixed so now you will see the fixed length right so this example you can do you can try out different options that are there they are really cool you see uh, and always you can download it so paragraphing again i'll say if we have too much content to show uh, a lot of content is should not be here it is a mind map it should be used in that way only one more example i'll take from here so i'll ask chat gpt uh, to generate the high level title and more in depth analysis as that i get the four five label entry so it gave that uh, it shortened that paragraph and all that thing so it has given me this content so copy this code here paste it you see i got this content now there is not a lot of content so climate change in its impacts introduction causes of climate change what is that greenhouse gases and what are the greenhouse gases co2 ch4 n2 deforestation fossil fuels rising temperature impacts of climate change case study solution to climate change so see a proper structuring is there so just a note point while using this tool uh, don't for, uh, don't click on this back button let's see if i click on the back button i get this one and if you go forward you won't get this one so your entire content will be lost if you are thinking of uh, writing the mark map here like this one title and if you click on this one something like that it will generate all the things uh, in real time right but here the problem is your entire content will be lost if any by mistake you click on the refresh button reload button or back button your entire content will be lost this is something i see a, a problem in in this tool because that in memory caching or something can be done so that it is it is preserved uh, because by default it is on this one right it, there can be some button where it can diff, uh, uh, explicit reset button can be there but it happened actually with me uh, i was writing a complex uh, markdown file project i wrote entirely on this one and uh, by mistake click on the back button and like when i click the forward button i hope i expected that it should be there but it was not there so, couple of hours effort was wasted so i was just uh, just make sure that you are not doing this and just uh, create the uh, create the markdown file in a text file from their copy uh, copy paste it here see the visualization here and if there is any correction do that there i hope you found this useful and you're going to apply it at your workplace to make your life easy so i'm using this tool and other tools as well to uh, make our daily life easy at workplace and personal work also am i doing this one i'm going to share these kind of tools on the uh, on this channel itself if you found this useful please consider liking sharing and subscribing this uh, channel uh, to support me to generate more content like this one so go ahead and check out other videos about microservices kafka and other cool contents of, of about software engineering so i'll be coming up more content like this one so keep supporting thank you bye, -bye.